Uh, hello everyone. I just wanted to release a quick video to update you all on what is happening with the proposal to eliminate short-term rentals that have been legally operating in apartment zoning on Maui for decades. There is another important meeting coming up with the Maui Planning Commission on this Tuesday, July 23rd, and I encourage anyone who has not already submitted their oral testimony with their opinions on the subject to attend this meeting either in person or virtually so your voice can be heard. But before we get into the details of the upcoming meeting, let's take a step back and discuss what has happened since the last Maui planning meeting that was held on June 25th and was continued because they were not able to hear everyone's testimony in one day. Now it's important to understand that since Maui County is comprised of three islands, Molokai, Lanai, and of course the island of Maui, each island will have their own planning meeting and submit their recommendation on whether or not to approve the bill to the Maui County Council. From there, the Maui County Council will hold their own series of meetings taking into consideration the recommendations from all the planning commissions of each of the islands. And it's actually the Maui County Council that will vote on whether the bill will be sent to the mayor to be signed into law. So since the last Maui Planning Commission meeting, Molokai has held their planning meeting on July 10th, and they did vote to recommend approval of the bill. Lanai also held their planning commission meeting on July 17th, and they actually did not provide any official recommendation to approve or deny the bill. Instead, they recommended that the, there be further studies conducted to address the concerns over the impacts of the bill that were raised during their meeting. So that brings us up to date on the meetings that have been held so far. Again, this Tuesday, July 23rd, will be the second Maui Planning Commission meeting. If you haven't already testified in the first meeting on June 25th, you are still eligible to testify even if you did not sign up to speak at the first meeting. I encourage everyone who cares about this issue to show up and speak their mind, whether you're for the bill or against it. This is our opportunity to see how many people in the community are for the elimination of roughly half the vacation rentals on Maui and how many people are against it. I'll share details on how to attend either in person or virtually in the description below. Now, I've already shared my thoughts on the subject in previous videos, so I'm not going to get into it right now, but I will say that at the first Maui Planning Commission meeting, the number of people that opposed the bill seemed to outnumber those in favor of it by about three to one. Now, those in favor of the bill suggested that other people who would also be in favor of the bill were unable to attend to testify because they're not able to take a day off work to come to these meetings that are in the middle of work days. I'm not necessarily convinced that's true because sadly I think it would be the people who can't afford to take a day off work that would be hurt the most by the passing of this bill due to the economic impacts that would lead to a lot of lost jobs and eventually even more local people would be forced to leave the island because they can't afford housing. I also think it was clear from the testimony in the first meeting that a lot of those who are in favor of speaking in favor of this bill are unfortunately making this a much more divisive issue than it should be. I personally do not see this as an us versus them argument. No one is either good or bad in this discussion. We can all agree that the lack of affordable housing is a big problem in Maui County. This shouldn't be an us versus them debate. It's a debate on what is actually the most effective way to solve the housing problem. And what the entire community needs right now more than ever is to come together and unite and find a solution that will actually work and that we can all agree on. Look, everyone on Maui has been through a very traumatic event with the wildfire that happened last year. And as we approach the one-year anniversary of the fires and continue to rebuild Lahaina Town, we need to find a way to come together, not divide even further. 
So again, I encourage everyone to share their testimony regardless of whether you're for or against the bill. But let's keep the discussion centered around how you think this bill will or will not actually solve the problem and not about de demonizing either side. Hopefully that's something that we can all agree on. Anyways, those are just my thoughts on the subject. If you're in favor of a united Maui, give the video a thumbs up and make sure to share this video with anyone else who cares about Maui so that they are fully informed and they have the opportunity to speak their mind if they wish. Thanks for watching all the way to the end and I hope to see you on the next video. Aloha.